aftermath of the wildfire on Maui is this total vacuum of information from government officials to the people. They oversent six billion. <laughs> And then I said, well, how much would it cost to rebuild every house mm -hmm. in the Maui fire? And it's five billion. In that vacuum, obviously people have all kinds of ideas or theories or this or that, but people were left without any kind of communication from anyone in a position of authority to provide help. What is this fund? The People's Fund of Maui? Who controls it? Who owns it? In the most recent episode of Joe Rogan Experience, our candid podcast host, Joe Rogan, suggested that media mogul Oprah Winfrey might be knee-deep in some seriously shady land deals related to Maui, and while thousands of people are still suffering from the consequences of this devastating disaster, Oprah is making money on people's sorrows. Joe Rogan, playing detective, stirring the pot, and accusing the industry giants of exploiting the Maui tragedy? Well, that's the term we've never expected. Let's dive into the details right away. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Celeb Live Channel. It's not a secret that Joe Rogan has been trying to warn us for ages about how these Hollywood elites would stop at nothing to keep filling their already overflowing well of riches. And here we are again with a fresh portion of new accusations from Joe. This time, he's suspecting Oprah of being the puppet master behind the Maui terrible incident and making huge profits on this tragedy. How is that possible? That these people could lose their home and then lose their land? Oh, it seems like Oprah Winfrey, the queen of real estate investments in Hawaii, has been snatching up Maui land like it's the latest best-selling novel. She started with a whopping 520-acre piece, added another 330 acres, and basically couldn't stop trying to turn the entire island into her possession. Now, the island disaster didn't change Oprah's capitalistic intentions, and it's been said that these land acquisitions might be her ticket to a front-row seat in the disaster capitalism game. I mean, it's common knowledge locals are desperate to get any help, and some of them will be selling their land on cheap. And as Joe Rogan now says, Oprah used the Maui fires to her advantage to expand her real estate portfolio even further. That's an insane position to take. It is. Post-tragedy. Yeah. When and people I, are suffering at their most, they can't yeah. even believe it happened. Yeah. Let me provide some more context for this epic saga because in 2023, a bit before the fires, Oprah started to acquire huge amounts of pieces of land on the island. The timing was impeccable and who would have guessed? But you know what seems the most suspicious here, guys? Well, the information about Oprah's real estate possession on the island is being deleted from the internet. It only adds to speculations that our beloved Oprah might have pulled off the ultimate plot twist by deliberately igniting the fires to acquire prime Maui real estate and expand her presence in the island. These claims are not empty, and they are coming from observations that while Oprah was getting ready with the team, a fireman to save her mansions, Maui's working class people were not even notified about the approaching disaster. And survivors are calling out a lack of warning. No alarms, no warning, nothing. Not even police rolling by telling us to evacuate or anything. So Joe Rogan, our newfound gossip guru, is now fueling these speculations with his own observations and discoveries. He practically said that Oprah Winfrey might be in some shady land dealings. Given the gravity of these allegations, there's now a campaign on social media demanding a full investigation of Oprah's shady activities in Maui. Plus, there are a lot of questions about her controversial fund, which she had launched earlier with The Rock. The media mogul coming on social media and asking working class to give their money to her so she could pass it to the Maui victims. Well, what could more ironic? Only Oprah's own generous donation of 10 million, which looks like a joke amidst the fact that it's more than five bucks to the media mogul. I'm looking at Oprah like, you're a billionaire. Why are you asking us for money? And the most shocking twist of all happened when people started to dig into this fund and learning more about its origins and work. So here what they have discovered. The Entertainment Industry Foundation, a nonprofit organization, is managing this Mai fund. Now let's take a closer look at this organization managing the funds. Its top executives, including the president, CAO, and CFO, are enjoying rather hefty yearly salaries. And just check the board of this company. It's like this organization needs the whole crowd. And as it was even speculated, Oprah is one of the board members as well. It's just, you know, she's not mentioned anywhere not to arise any suspicions. However, it seems like everyone already sees right through her and her shady schemes. It is a clean direct from you directly to their hands and right away with some real immediacy. With so much detail surfacing, the concerns about Oprah's true intentions are growing. And it seems like in this time of need, the media mogul cares about putting money into the hands of people, but not the Maui people, but not the Maui people, but her own millionaire friends. As one person commented, I don't trust any of them. If they did donate, it was only for clout. Bet she's selling that property to rich people for insane amounts if not keeping it for herself and shoving out the locals. And another user added, People, a charity which does not show a proper transparent financial report is a scam. 
Yet, Oprah didn't like people's reaction to her allegedly philanthropic aspirations. In her usual manner, she slammed all the critics, claiming that by attacking her, they are taking the focus from the main purpose of her fund. So all of the online attacks, lies, conspiracy theories, really took the focus off of what was the most important thing, which is the people of Maui. However, it didn't save from backlash. And while it may not be obvious to ordinary people, experts in lies like Joe Rogan ask a lot of questions about Oprah's fundraiser and its work. That's just like accidental money. Yeah. But there's no talk of doing that. Yeah. There's no talk of doing that. As Joe is now saying, those 10 million that Oprah allegedly given to the people may have served more as initial capital for the fundraiser to start working and pay the people who created the whole thing from the scratch rather than direct aid to the fire victims. In his recent podcast, he also mentioned the sad practice of seeing the local population of Maui facing a systematic displacement from their ancestral lands, and he blames the Hollywood elites for that. As his guest on the show, former U.S. Representative Tulsi Gabbard said, What I heard over and over again was no one from the county, state, or the federal government has shown their face in our community. It is neighbors helping neighbors, families helping families. Well, the residents of Maui seems not to be getting any help from Oprah as well. And in fact, the true state of affairs on the island is so different from what the media mogul is trying to portray. Oprah Winfrey coming down from the mountaintop like she's a goddess. I don't know, she's buying up land all over Maui. Unlike Oprah, who comes to Hawaii to enjoy her lavish life, Tulsi has been coming there regularly after the tragedy and she collected the real stories coming from real people. She shared her perspective, emphasizing that she has spoken with families who have lived in Maui for generations. Their connection to the land goes beyond the legal. It's deeply spiritual. But I guess it means nothing for the media mogul who solves all her problems with money, or should I rather say taking money from the people. Get other people to give money and then we'll put it directly into the people's bank accounts. I was so excited. If Oprah's schemes with land and fund are exposed, it's going to be a huge blow to her career and reputation. However, so far, as Joe Rogan expressed on his podcast show, the Hollywood minions are doing their best trying to cover all the traces of Oprah's sheer audacity. With all these wealthy real estate speculators, elites, and celebs throwing their hats into the ring, making tempting bids for the burned out land, it seems like Hawaii will turn into Hollywood's resort in a few years and the locals will be pushed out of their native land. How about give the f people their homes back. But the theories doesn't end here. Some theorists even suggest that these fires were intentionally set to pave the way for Oprah and her friends and turn Maui into the industry resort island. And here's even more. It's said that there's little to no help to the devastated victims of the fires and people are forced to leave their land in search of food and water. As Tulsi said, People are loading up whatever they have in their general store on these little boats and running them over to West Maui to a private boat dock because that was the only place that they wouldn't be blocked from bringing food and water and medical supplies. But bless those people like Joe Rogan because they are not only trying to be vocal about the horrible plan of the elites to own Hawaii, but doing actual help to improve the position of the locals. Unlike Oprah, who seems to use this tragedy to her own advantage and enrichment. How is that possible? That these people could lose their home and then lose their land? Like, how is that possible? It, it is It is the number one concern of people. I mean, these Maui people have already lost their families, homes, and children. And the idea of profiting on this disaster is just the most atrocious act against all humanity. Many fans are saying that the time for these elites to step back and let the real heroes shine. As for Oprah, well, people have a lot to say about her. As one person commented, she needs deplatforming, demonetizing, canceling, and made to give that land back. And another user added, that response to Joe's criticism was so stereotypical, saying he's just distracting us from other problems. Nah, you and your wealthy friends are the problem. Well, it seems like Oprah's shady activities don't fool anyone, and people see right through her ugly nature. And what do you think about this guy's is the iconic TV diva actually scamming Maui people or is only trying to help? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to check my other videos. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. 